Hello campers, welcome to the channel and yep, this is the reveal video this is a video where you get to see what this beautiful VFR, this Viffer looks like now that I've made uh, some changes to it before I do, keep you in suspense just that wee bit longer I'm going to show you the last episode just before the reveal and um, you'll see the stuff going together You'll see the fairings going on and you'll see the bike starting to look like a bike again. So have a wee look, enjoy, watch the intro and watch the last episode and I'll see you in a minute. Cheers. Busy couple of days ahead, as you'll soon see. Look at this. Well, my panels are back, the job is going to be getting them fitted today and tomorrow. I'm just going to take my time with it and see how things pan out. But these are minted and they're all going on this chappy today. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll just do a, a time lapse of me fitting all the stuff. It's probably going to take me a while today just to get through it and it'll be good to see the shell of the bike and me basically building it in. Oh, so it should be good and then there'll be a wee reveal and get a look at it and see what it looks like and hopefully it's kind of what I thought it would be like and hopefully you'll think it's what you think it's going to be like, if that makes sense. But um, yes, so stay tuned and enjoy. See ya. Okay, we're on to day two of the build and I had a mishap yesterday off camera. Honestly, I was sick. I was sick when this happened. I'd been putting the, the nose cone together at the front and here's the other side. And this section here, just, just above those two holes. I was stepping over to go and grab a screwdriver and I clipped the top one and broke it off. Here's a picture. So um, I'll give it back to Grems, he's going to do what he can. He'll be able to fix it but it's, it's just down to how soon he can do it I suppose. I'm hoping he can do it over the next two, three days for me. Here's the bike so far. So it's looking, it's looking good. It's a new screen that I've got for it as well, which will go on once this front end's on. Um, so I'm limited to what I can do now. Uh, I've got the back sections on just to test them. I'll finish putting them on today. And I've got this bottom section on. Alas, this is metal, so that kind of covers all the exhaust. There is a little heat shield in here that I've had to take off because for some reason it is conflicting with this and it's causing issues so I've taken it off. I don't think I really need it to be fair. I've got a heat shield up here as well which will take care of some stuff. I think the heat shield is just to protect the uh, slave cylinder here but we'll see how things go. I think I don't think I'll need it. So yeah, it's all on, it's all coming together. So it is. 
I also had an issue with my tank where it was leaking a little bit but that's now fixed so that's all in, in place and it's all looking good so I've got a few bits and bobs done with that today I think I'm going to get the bike started up today I think that'll be that'll be definitely a, a done thing just to check that it starts okay and um, we'll see how it goes for there I may do something with the water I'm not sure how long this water's been in here I might have a wee look at that and see seeing I've, I can't get this panel on so I'll be as well just waiting and doing some other bits and bobs with it today but here's what I want to show you I've got a brand new Delkevig and the cat how beautiful is that thing look at this with a big bore at the back and it's a high level so it should come up here and go along here just below this panel so I'm going to see how easy that is to do today so the plan is to get that fitted and I'll just run you through it you don't get any instructions for this so it should be pretty straightforward just getting this I'm thinking this bracket is in behind here and then you've got the hoop that, that goes on to the end can that holds it in place I think that must be all you need to do is just take this panel off so I'm going to take the panel off and see what's in behind it and just take it from there so let's get on Hold on, did you actually think I was going to show you the whole bike getting put together? What would be the point of doing the reveal? What would be the point if that was going to be the case? Of course not. <laughs> I was just going to show you like most of what it was like. Before I show you the bike, I just want to have a shout out to Graham's Bike Restoration. He's done an amazing job on the plastics on getting them right, getting them clean, fixing all the repairs, even fabricating bits to, you know, fix bits that have been missing. 
he's been outstanding and I would highly recommend him for anyone that wants to get their bike sprayed, repaired, fairings, tank, anything like that, he's your man. I'll leave a link in the description of his page, his Facebook page, and get in touch. And regardless, even if you're down south, I'm pretty sure you could probably arrange to go and get the stuff sent up to him. He's top class, and you'll see that when you see the bike. So, cheers Grams, Graham, thanks very much mate. You've done me a turn, you really have helped me out, even when I broke that bit. God, oh man, that was just immense. I couldn't believe that. I, I did actually cry. Um, so here we go, I'll take you over and you can have a look. Now, this bike's cost me a lot. I paid 350 quid for it, but I must have spent about 1500 quid on it. And then when you weigh that up against what you would get a decent bike with in decent, decent condition for, you think to yourself, is it worth it? But I'll tell you what, I've spent so much time on this bike and I've got to know it. I know inside and out, the bits that are fixed on it, the brakes, the suspension, I've done that and I know what's inside, I know what it's like. So yeah, I do think it's worth it and it's something that I'm going to keep for a while. So anyway, here you go, have a look, see what you think. So, what do you think? Give me your comments, tell me what you think. Do you think it was worth the effort? Do you think it was worth the time, the money? What do you think? I think so. I think it's worth every penny. I mean, just look at it. Just look at that thing. Oh, you want to hear it? It's one thing I've not done yet, is um, start the thing up. Hold on. I want to hear it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope it's what you thought it would be <coughs> and I'm hoping I can get a few rides on it this year, take you with me and we can have some fun together. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you all later. Stay safe.
Come on, Vanna. 